Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Have you ever wondered what it would look like if an Elegoo Mars, an Inucubic Photon S, and Tony Stark got together and somehow had a love child? Well, I'm gonna show you right here, right now, on 3D Print Farm. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, after that introduction, I give to you the... I give to you the Chidi Tech. Yes, it's pronounced Chidi. Q-I-D-I, which could, you could say it's Kitty Tech, but it's, I, I'm told it's Chidi Tech. The Chidi Tech Shadow 5.5S. It looks like an Elegoo Mars because it has this cool cover that can be removed, like thusly. Check this out. All the way around, this is a solid monster of a machine. This is solid metal all the way. Solid metal here. We have the plastic here that looks like Iron Man and a child. This guy is, it's solid. And uh, what I said uh, earlier about this being a, this is, this is basically, it's a Photon S, but it's not a Photon S. It's a Photon S in the respect that you've got the dual Z rails, the, uh, your build plate is swap outable, is that a word, swap outable, with the, with the photons, mill plate, heck, even the vat, these disposable Elegoo vats work great on here. The CBD board, which is the uh, control board, the LCD screen, exactly the same as the photon and the Elgu Mars. So everything is uh, swap outable, I guess you'd say. So let me remove this, place this back on here. Again, these are exactly the same size, except. Uh, this one belongs to the sand people, and this one belongs to the non-sand people, and those folks out on the Anycubic Photon forum will know exactly what I'm talking about, but yeah. Ah, uh, pretty much, this is, uh, this is an interesting machine. I, again, I printed several items on this machine. Uh, this particular guy was the little Vornoy uh, piggy, and that you saw in the earlier video and it turned out really nice. So yeah, this is pretty much a, um, this is an interesting machine to say the least. Uh, it reminds me a lot of an Elegoo Mars uh, with the fact that you've got the cool red cover and it covers it nicely and you can get to everything. That's the main thing that I like about this printer is you can get to everything. Unlike the Photon S, which it has its own issues with its proprietary software, 
This guy works with Cheetubox. You can export the CBDDLP files with this. So this works great with Cheetubox. This is almost what the Photon S should have been. So yeah, it has these dual rails, so you shouldn't have any issues with Z-Wobble like I had with my initial AnyCubic Photon way back in the day. It's heavy as heck. It's got these two um, fans located in the back, and you can see there's these activated charcoal in these little, uh, looks like injection molded plastic cages that fit back in here. And they actually do a really good job of keeping the smell down. Uh, as long, you know, as well as the cover. So in that aspect, it's kind of like an Elgu Mars. It's a lot like a Photon S. I'm telling you. I, you other than you know, it looking like Iron Man, I mean, you've got the dual Z rails. You have the dual fans that um, help with the purging of the smell. Um, where is it? Where is it? It came with a 16 gigabyte thumb drive, but this is a Toshiba drive. I don't know if this is an actual Toshiba drive, but I would assume it's an actual Toshiba drive. This comes with a 16 gig Toshiba drive. And the what's cool about it is the USB port is on the side like it should be. It's you know a lot easier to get to. I mean, on the back, basically, there's a small fan. You've got a fan underneath. It does use, um, it's not an array. It's not an, an uh, the LEDs are not, it's not an array, it's, it's actually a cone formation as far as the, uh, the the UV light source is concerned. It comes with a lot of cool stuff. I mean, I got a 250 uh, milliliter bottle of Chidi Tech resin, and you've got this really cool, you know, color, uh, color guide, and it, this thing levels just like an AnyCubic Photon. So if you know how to level an AnyCubic Photon, it works exactly the same. Uh, there's a quick reference card, you know, you get with it. You get the, um, you get a metal scraper, which is kind of cool. Get a plastic one as well. Of course, you have your obligatory Allen wrenches, as well as a flat blade screwdriver, which is kind of cool. And then you also get a, it looks like about a two and a half millimeter uh, Allen type screwdriver, as well as your masks, filter, uh, it's like you got extra, extra FEP, and then this cool thing right here, you hear that? So I thought about this thin piece of mylar that came with it as far as leveling is concerned, and at first I thought, you know, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this, but you know, I got to thinking about it. If this mimics the thinness of the FEP, you'll probably get a more truer uh, level than you would by using just regular typing paper because when you use regular typing paper you know it's a lot thicker than the FEP and you get the you know the whole push-pull action and I know you any cubic photon users you know exactly what I'm talking about but this little thin piece here you're going to get a I think you're gonna get a more truer level I, I leveled it one time and it works it works great again full disclosure I was sent the Chidi Tech Shadow 5.5 S by Chidi Tech uh, Chidi Tech reached out to me to evaluate this printer, and uh, you know, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. The only thing maybe is this cover is a little bit on the thin side. It's not as thick as uh, uh, as the Elgu Mars, but I don't really see a problem with it. I mean, it fits great. Uh, again, I love the fact that on this thumb drive, they have the latest version of Chi2 Box. They have leveling videos. They have a video that shows you how to replace the LCD screen. So you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to go to YouTube to find out how to replace this. And again, it's eight bolts. You take four bolts off the top, four bolts off the bottom. This plastic piece right here just slides off. It's just like a, this is like one big plastic piece just comes off. There's one cable that connects this fan on the bottom that you have to disconnect from the uh, from the main board. You remove that cable, the whole bottom piece comes off. So everything is exposed. You can get to the system board. You can change the LCD easily out on this because again, there's a small daughter board that's on the side. That's where the cable plugs into. If you got big hands like me, you know you can go in there and swap that out. Not a problem. 
Uh, I like the fact that it is it has the dual Z rails because when I got my first Photon, I had issues with uh, Z wobble, and as you can see in some of my older videos, I had a heck of a time trying to get that straightened out. The only thing that straightened it out was getting a um, a new um, a new rail, a new rail, a new motor. They sent me the whole works. I mean, I give props to any cubic for doing that, but uh, this is really cool. Again, it's kind of like an Elegoo Mars somewhat in a Photon S in, you know, Tony Stark had a baby here, because it does look like an Iron Man, which I think this is actually pretty stinking cool. Again, this is plastic. This is plastic here, but the top all this is anodized metal, so that's where all the weight is on this. And as you guys know that have dual Z rails, this monster up here is heavy. So this is going to be a lot heavier than your uh, your Inicubic Photon or your Elgu Mars. So if you're looking for an option, uh, I love my Elgu Mars, I love my Inicubic Photon, but if you're looking for a hybrid of some sort, uh, you might want to look at the Chidi Tech. Shadow 5.5S. Again, it uses Chi2 Box. So if you want an, another printer, I mean, this would be a good choice. I mean, if you wanted to get into, let's say you wanted to go down the Photon route, and judging by some of the things that Anycubic's doing right now with their proprietary stuff, you may want to look into the Chidi Tech because you're going to get the dual Z rails, you're going to get the CBD board. And I don't know, and this is maybe worth a, a further looking at if the CBD board is flashable with a different type of firmware perhaps, but uh, you're gonna get the best of both worlds. Again, you're gonna get the best of both worlds using it. <clears throat> you're gonna get the best of both worlds because again, it's like an LU Mars in some respects, and it's like the Photon S in other respects, or the updated Photon. Next week, we're going to be talking about an exciting product that you can use on your Incubic Photon, your LU Mars, and I bet you money you can use it on the Chidi Tech Shadow 5.5S as well. So we're going to be going over that. Some neat little thing that's going to, uh, some neat little utility item that I think you're really going to like. Okay, guys, have a great day. See you next time again on 3D Print Farm. Bye now.